Hey guys, Noisy Boy here, and I'm back. And this is just a small video, a short video on uh, tips on how to beat the Witch of Hemwick. Now they call it the Witch of Hemwick, but it's Witches of Hemwick. So, first of all, what you're gonna need? Uh, you can see that I've got Gascon's um, attire on. I've only got that on because it has strong um, arcane defense. Um, when these uh, witches start to uh, actually hit you back, they use arcane abilities. So, at this point in time of the game, that was my best defense against arcane. So, um, I think I had a 252 rating defensive against uh, arcane, um, which probably isn't very high, but this was pretty early on in my walkthrough. Um, secondly, you'll need probably um, fire paper. As you can see, I've actually got it equipped on, but. Because I, I'm using the rifle spear, it doesn't actually, you can't actually buff it with fire paper. But if you don't have the fire spear, um, it actually works very good for you. Uh, secondly, um, you can use numbing mist. Um, I know that's uh, to stop people from um, restoring their health. But if you throw, n I didn't actually do it in this one, but if you throw numbing mist on on the opponent. Um, it leaves like a, a silhouette over their body, so you can actually see where they are without actually looking for them. Um, another tip is probably um, visceral attacks. That's probably your best strategy for um, beating these witches. Go up behind them, you know, stun them, and then visceral attack them. That takes off a shitload of their life. Okay, now the, um, their attacks. They, as you can see, they're pretty placid. But they have that attack there, which pretty much knocks you half your life down. Um, actually, before this, I actually died the first time I did this because I pretty much walked straight in, found one straight away, and I went to do, attack him with a light attack, and then he um, he kind of just uh, did his force field thing, and it hit me, and then I went straight into a wall around the barrels down near the entrance. And it actually fucking trapped me there. So when I got back to my feet, he did it again and killed me. So you just got to be careful with that. And if um, if you get trapped in those corners, you know it's just not worth it. Um, those are pretty much their attack. They have a binding attack too, where they bind you for a few seconds and you can't move, like a stunning attack. Um, that's easily um, avoidable, um, but at the same time, not really that bad. Now strategies for this game. Just moving, keep moving around. Um, they uh, summon some ads that uh, come onto them. Just there, I've got two walking around right now. They're pretty easily uh, avoidable. Um, try not to get back into a corner. If you think you can try to go for the kill, don't worry about it. Be patient. Take your time. Um, if you see them coming, just don't worry about it. Go do another lap around. Move them around. Try to get them into a spot where like. Uh, you know, they're not trapped, but they are kind of, how do you say, like, traffic jam, so to speak. Um, yeah, just, and they have to actually take the long way around to get you. Um, I don't really find them that much of a problem, really. Um, next, I probably have to get to say, um, as another part of the strategy, is, um, as you can see down the bottom, that you can see both of their life bars now, but what you should be doing is just try and lowering both of their life bars as low as you can go um, if you do end up killing one like I did just then you're gonna to have to as quickly as possible kill the other one only because if you leave it for a certain amount of time he'll come back and revive his mate to about 20% health and then it just kind of adds on to the time to your um, fight here so yeah that's pretty much what I uh, what I reckon I'll just recap for buffs and potions and stuff like that, fire paper, it's always good stuff. Molotovs if you have them. Um, you don't have to use them, but uh, Molotovs would probably be um, very effective since they're weak against fire. Oil urns, of course, since they are weak against fire. Um, but flame paper is probably the best one. When you're attacking them, come up behind them, stun them with a visceral attack. Um, also, just move, just movement, patience and movement. I know this is probably going to be a slow fight for some people. Some people might actually find it a bit hard, but... Uh, yeah, no, it wasn't too bad. It did take me a while to do, but um, you got just got to kind of bait those dudes around and then just hit them with those viscerals. So, 
that's pretty much just my uh, main thing. Try not to get trapped when you're fighting those ads too. Just uh, try to keep them out in the open or in the corners. Um, what else? I think that might be pretty much about it. There's that little binding attack I was telling you about. Not really that bad, but uh, well then you get fucking doubled up with that shit. See, I got stuck here last time. That's where I died last time. So just watch out for that fucking corner of death. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much uh, my tips. Buff with a uh, fire paper. Come up behind, attack from behind. Um, try to get some arcane defense going. That Gascoigne um, attire is perfect for that. Or the best that I had at this time anyway. And yeah, so uh, I think I'll just leave you guys to uh, enjoy the rest of the, um, the battle. So please... If uh, this did help, give me some thumbs up, comment, and maybe subscribe to my channel. And as always, guys, stay noisy. Nice. Pop. Not to kill this other guy, so there we go. Slow tick.